What's up everyone? Uh, it's a Sunday evening here. I'm just getting ready to pack up and head home. It's been another long week. Um, got to go home, get a few things sorted. I've got taxes to file that are due this coming week. Uh, so I've got to get that underway and just get ready for work tomorrow morning uh, at my other job. Um, I'm looking at maybe cutting those hours back to a couple of days a week so I can get more done here. Um, I'm just starting to get a few orders back up. So um, they take a lot longer when I'm spending three days away. So uh, that's the plan. Hopefully I can get that knocked down without causing any issues uh, at my other job. Um, but this is just about done. Um, I'm putting the final touches on things and putting it all back together. You can see the, uh, the film, the plastic protective films coming off now. Um, it's starting to look really good. I've got all the wiring on there. I just need to tidy a couple of things up on that. So this one's practically ready to go. Um, I've run a few tests on it and it's looking pretty good. So um, this is just getting sort of the last few things put together so I can hopefully send it this coming Friday. If not, it'll be the following week. Um, the customer sent up a test piece uh, for me to run through it before it gets sent down and that hasn't turned up yet. So um, hopefully it'll turn up in the next couple of days and I can get back here on Wednesday. Um, dial in the last few things uh, to do with this one and then maybe have it down ready to go on the following Friday. Um, I've got parts coming in, the CNC cut and folded parts for the 1280, the largest size. Um, so hopefully I'll have them. Um, but a small spanner thrown in the works. Uh, my little TIG welder here, I say my little, it's actually a friend's. They've um, very graciously lent it to me for a couple of years but now then they need it. they've got uh, some jobs come up to do some stainless work with so they're gonna need that back uh, meaning I've got to go get another TIG um, but I was thinking I have bought this little plasma cutter and they're very very similar in principle um, with the way that they work and there are units that you can get that do arc um, plasma and TIG so um, I just had a thought pop into my head I wonder whether or not I can use the torch of the TIG on the little plasma cutter and use the gas rig uh, and all the gas lines and just to see whether or not that will actually work. So if that's the case and I can make it work, then I've just got to pick up a regulator and another handpiece and then I'll set up that plasma cutter so I can use it both as a TIG and a plasma cutter. It'll be set up on the same little trolley, make it nice and easy for me. So uh, what I'm gonna do is um, just quickly swap that over now run a couple of tests and if it looks like it's going to work I'll get another torch on the way this week and then hopefully before I have to start on the 1280 the next build coming up um, I'll have that dialed in otherwise I'm going to have to take a day tomorrow and I'll go have a bit of a shop around uh, and if that's the case I may end up getting a AC DC TIG so I can start doing some alloy welding as well so um, we'll just see how we go with that but for now I'm going to swap that stuff over and just have a quick test to see whether or not it will work so if you give me a minute I'll get set up so we're set up now, didn't have to change anything, um, it all seemed to screw straight on. Uh, I don't know about polarity, I don't think it really matters that much, I didn't bother to look it up, but um, I'm pretty sure um, when you get the 3-in-1, um, the, the arc, plasma and TIG, um, I'm pretty sure they only have the three ports on it, so the switch, the earth and the torch. So I don't think polarity is going to be an issue. We'll find out shortly, I guess. Um, and then the inlet's pretty much the same. I just pulled the rig off and then just ran the hose straight for the rig in. So um, we'll see whether this just turns into a ball of molten everything. Um, tungsten and stainless and glove or whatever. Um, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. So there's just a, a bit of a test rig there. I usually um, weld like this with a two two pieces right next to each other um, just like a, a seam weld it just makes it very easy my welding skills are pretty average so um, that's what I'm used to so if this works I'll just get another torch so um, you can see just the standard cheapo torches that you see on most TIGs most DC TIGs um, I'm just going to get set up on a tripod and then we'll see whether or not this is going to work So it's a little bit louder than the last one. Um, let's just see how we go. This may have been a complete not a waste of valuable time, but uh, let's just see how we go. Theoretically, it should work. They're pretty much the same, same sort of machine. Um, 
But let's just see how we go. Seems to be working. Probably a little low on the temperature. Go back over that bit I missed before. Uh, it's not focusing very well. Let me just get a better shot under the light. Focus is terrible. There we go. So, probably mess around with a different gas cup and I think there may be more of a restriction uh, in the gas flow there. Um, but if I get better gas coverage, it's gonna do all I need it to do. So, um, I think it's worth getting a torch. They're pretty cheap these days. Um, the post, um, post flow or post gas flow it's probably a little bit longer than I'd like I'm gonna go through that argon but um, you can see after I, that was the, the second lot that was when I went back over it but essentially it's doing what it needs to um, so I will get a rig I'll get a torch um, and yeah, focusing is a bit weird today um, but I've got that it's uh, just a cheapo, it cost me about 500 bucks in New Zealand. Um, everything's more expensive here compared to the, to the states in the UK. Um, just because you've got to tax shipping on top of everything. So um, I think they're both about 160 amps. Um, but yeah, now that I know that I can make this work with a torch, I'll get a torch and a rig and just use it for now. And then um, when I can get a bit of extra money, um, I'll go and get a AC DC TIG so I can do a wider range um, but yeah there's my update um, I'm just about to start my next build um, finish this one off next one's bigger it's the first CNC cut and folded one coming so um, I'll get an idea of whether that's going to be a feasible thing or not um, so yeah thank you for watching